we're getting a new press secretary. Wait till you see who it is. And the best part is, none of that even matters. Next week, we are getting a new White House press secretary. Karine Jean-Pierre, going to replace Jen Psaki. The White House Principal Deputy Press Secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, is replacing Jen Psaki as White House Press Secretary, President Biden announced Thursday. That's today. Psaki will be leaving the White House on May 13th, and her impending departure was expected. Longtime top Democrat advisor Anita Dunn is also returning to the White House as a senior advisor focusing on the president's policy and communication goals. Okay. The person who is going to be the new press secretary is notable only in the fact that she is the very first black woman, openly gay, press secretary. And there she is. Now, you're going to see headlines all over the place. Fox News and Gateway Pundit and... All these places are saying, oh, they're just mad because she's a gay black woman and you're a homophobic and bigot. And that's the trap. This is a trap. This is, a, this is an easy to avoid trap. Now, of course, Joe Biden was going to pick a openly gay black woman for this job. He's been saying that since the very first time he started campaigning to be president. Um, it, we've got half of his cabinet is black or minority. And I know that the minorities are less than 50% of the population because they're minorities. So having more than their equal share in his cabinet is just what he does. This is also another gotcha trap, whatever. It's a shiny object used to distract you. Now, she has... This is, this is following in the article. This is, uh, Kareen not only brings the experience, talent, and integrity needed for this difficult job, but she will continue to lead the way in communicating about the work of the Biden-Harris administration on behalf of the American people. Mr. Biden said in a statement, Jill and I have known and respected Kareen for a long time, and she will be a strong voice speaking for me and this administration. Okay, that's what they should lead with. If she's a strong voice, that's great. We need someone to interpret this mashed potato marble mouth president, the true Anana Shabba to pressure bad calf care. Why didn't they just say, we hired someone who is a great speaker and is going to help to get my message out? No, no. They need a black lesbian woman to do it. I'm not sure if that's her best qualification or if she actually is a good speaker. The good speaker part was pretty low on her list of accolades, so it's kind of sad. There's another part in here that's a little interesting. Let's scroll down a little bit. This is all fluff and nonsense. Here we go. Jean-Pierre, 44 years old, was born in France and is the partner of CNN's Suzanne Malveaux. They have a young daughter. She worked for the Biden and Obama campaigns and has served as an NBC and MSNBC political analyst. Stop. This is the part they buried way down in the bottom. Just like the, oh, no one's going to read this far. Okay. Her partner, her wife, is Suzanne Malveaux of CNN. So she's already in the media. Okay, She comes home every day and spends time with her wife, and that's someone who works at CNN. So there's maybe some kind of an agenda there, but that's okay. She also served as an NBC and MSNBC political analyst. So this is the kind of thing that if you do a good job at NBC or MSNBC as a political analyst, and by good job, I mean you have to hate Trump. You have to hate DeSantis. You have to do everything you can to just dump all over Republicans. If you do that well enough, you'll get rewarded with a job in the White House. You see how this goes? Okay. Now what I wanted to do is get a little better information. I wanted to check a different source. So what I did was I went to good old trusty CNN. CNN politics, okay? Their headline, Karine Karin Jean-Pierre to become White House press secretary, the first black and out LGBTQ person in this role. Um, they nailed it. They said her best qualifications are black and gay in the headline. Why can't she just be a good speaker or good at her job or a good Democrat or good? No. Her qualifications are, look, she's black. Look, she's gay. That's all you need to know in a Biden administration. Once again, this is a trap just to get the 
the Republicans and the right-leaning media and the conservatives all in a tizzy. Oh, they're just hiring these blacks. Oh, they're just hiring these gays. Trap, 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 trap. Now, what's interesting about this is the first couple of paragraphs here are just a rehash of the same thing on the CBS article. She brings experience. She brings talent. She brings integrity. They get to that part eventually after saying that the first black and LGP person to hold the position. That's their first thing. All right. So, blah, blah, blah. Jean-Pierre will formally begin following Saki's last day on May 13th. CNN reported in April that Saki was leaving her role for one at MSNBC. Wait a minute. I get it now. If you do a good job in the White House, you get a kickback by getting hired at MSNBC. And if you do a good job at working at MSNBC, you get a job in the government. You starting to hear the circus music yet? You see what's happening? This is the important part about this new press secretary. It has nothing to do with, hey, she's black, she's gay, she's a woman. doesn't matter. Distraction, distraction, distraction. This is a, a political merry-go-round where if you do a good job in, poli in, in politics, you get ha paid at the news. And if you do a good job in the news, you get a job in politics. Pay attention. This is the only thing we should be paying attention to. This is the real story. Isn't it interesting? Let's see how the regular news handles it tomorrow. Psst, I'd lay real money. They go against the, oh, you hate her because she's black in one side of the story, and oh, why don't you like her because she's gay in the other side of the story. has nothing to do with that. It's the, it's the merry-go-round. It's always the merry-go-round. If you find this as entertaining as I do, grab that subscribe button. Bounce it around between MSNBC and the White House a few times. Then go away. I'll see you tomorrow.